Hello again, and welcome back. In this video, we're going to have a look at what we had a request for. was basically how to use Windows Firewall to block individual programs, or maybe even just completely block everything. Okay, now it's very simple. All you need to do is go to Windows Firewall with Advanced Security. How do we do that? We just go over here and type in firewall and it should pop up click on that and you'll get this we have created these two okay we'll just show you how to block all okay by deleting that one first okay and all you need to do is go to outbound and inbound you'll need to do it for both okay outbound is probably the most important because that's coming from your side however inbound is also extremely important. So an outbound rule, okay, just create a new rule. Okay, and you can go for a program or custom in this case we'll choose. All programs, okay, services, just to make sure it's all apply to all programs and services, okay. So every single service is blocked off as well, okay. All protocols, all ports, everything's locked. Okay. If you want to exclude anything, that's fine. You can do it now. Okay. We're not going to do that. Okay. And block this connection. That's the main thing we need to make sure we do. Okay. Make sure you click it for all the different types of firewall settings. You know, you have your private, public, and domain kind of settings. Okay. Click next. Give it a name, um, any name. Okay, block all. Okay, give it a description if you want. Click finish. And now that is enabled. Now, just a minute back, I was able to go to Google. Everything was working fine. Let's try it out again. Let's see if it works. As you can see itself, it's not. But it'll just time out in a minute and give you the error just to prove it there you go web page is not available and to prove that all we need to do then is just disable it okay you can always keep the rule there isn't a problem you've created it just enable disable okay there we go Google's back there okay now that does it for all outbound okay inbound Okay, we have all block. Okay, we did the same thing again. We'll just show you how to do it. New rule. Okay, program or custom. Okay, all programs, all services. Make sure you check just to make sure. Once again, all protocols, all ports. Okay, do you want to exclude anything? Click next. Okay, block the connection. So we're basically now stopping everything that was coming inwards, okay? Some programs are just waiting here in the background listening, okay? Maybe they're not sending anything out, but maybe they're waiting for things to come in. So you need to block inbound as well, so block this connection. Okay, once again, choose for all areas or any one particular kind of network setting that you're on, okay? Give it a name, block all again. Or any other name, that doesn't really matter. Okay. And this way, basically, all incoming connections are also blocked. Okay. We'll just now delete that. Okay. And we'll also show you. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Now we have Chrome. Okay. Google Chrome's running over here, or any other program, for example. If you want to block it, you need to find what is the exe file that is actually running. Okay. Now, we'll just delete this. If I was to have enabled it, Chrome would not have worked, but I'll just start from the beginning. Okay. So here we are. What you need to do is open Task Manager. Okay. Task Manager, just type in Task, and then Task Manager should pop up. Okay, make sure the program's running. Okay, 
if you really are having issues with internet just unplug it or turn off the wireless and then kind of like um the wi-fi and then start the program okay now you can see it over here okay that's the program we want to stop okay we need to find where it is so we right clicked on that and then open file location now if we look at it that's in c drive program files x86 google chrome applications and it's this one okay so all we need to do is go back to our firewall okay once again okay outbound rules you can do it for inbound rules as well new rule okay this time we'll choose a specific program next okay the program path okay we've already kind of like set this up before so it's automatically just gone to that location however generally when you start it it'll be a totally different thing so let's assume there's a c drive okay all right program x86 google chrome application chrome open that okay so we have set the program that we want to block okay next okay once again choose for what settings you want it okay give it a name okay click finish now if you remember just a minute back google was working in chrome let's try it again it's not working okay and you'd obviously want to do it the same for inbound rules as well so that has basically shown you how to completely shall we say lock down your computer if you think windows update or others windows services can get through okay outbound rules let's just go back i shouldn't have deleted it but never mind new rule so custom next all programs, all protocols, no exceptions, block the connection, next, all settings, block all, okay, finish, okay, block all is enabled, okay, let's go to Windows Update, check for updates, okay, just a few minutes back, it had that line over there saying it had checked for updates, no updates were needed. Now, when it checks, it'll actually come back with an error saying couldn't connect kind of thing. Okay, there we go. We couldn't get online to download. So you see, so you can actually use this to block literally every program service on your Windows box. Okay, just a quick little reminder regarding Windows Update. Don't forget, um, as per the license terms, they want you to kind of like um, um, update on regular basis. I think it is, um, depending on the settings, if you're like an enterprise version, you can delay for four months and then a further eight months. So a maximum of 12 months, okay, before you stop getting any updates. So basically, if you've blocked it for that time, and you then try to update at that future point in time, you'll actually have to update everything previously first, okay? So just remember those licensing rules and also Microsoft's own little system. Okay, hopefully this has helped all of you. Um, thank you for watching.